Greetings. My name is Aisha Shahida Simmons, and I'm the writer and director of Know the Rape Documentary, a groundbreaking film about sexual violence, non carceral accountability, and healing in Black communities. Funded by the Ford Foundation, among other partners, I began developing No over 25 years ago in a script writing workshop taught by my teacher, the late award winning Black feminist writer Tony K. Bambara at Scribe Video Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I spent 12 years making No, seven of which were full time. The number one reason for the length of time to make the film, economic censorship. You see, in the 90s, very few funders and media broadcasters were interested in a feature length film about sexual violence, accountability, and healing in Black communities. Despite this resistance, I created a Black feminist led, multiracial, mixed gender, international grassroots fundraising campaign to support the making of No. Now, this was the 90s. So, this was before the internet as we know it today. There were no Kickstarter, Indiegogo, GoFundMe, or other line, other online crowdsourcing campaigns. I had to put my feet to the pavement and lick those stamps. And as a result of that, I received invaluable support from so many individuals and several courageous funders based across the United States and in Canada, France, Belgium, England, Italy, Hungary, the Netherlands, and South Africa. Thanks to this global community, I crossed the finish line. Subtitled in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German, all of which was done by Black women, this internationally acclaimed film features compelling testimonials from Black women survivors who broke silences and challenged taboos that hid the sexual violence of women and girls by men in African-American communities, leading Black women and Black men, violence prevention advocates, theologians, sociologists, historians, anthropologists, other leading scholars, and human rights activists provide viewers with the tools necessary to understand existing theories and politics intended to end sexual violence, as well as to develop radical new forms of transformative resistance to rape and sexual assault. Impacting archival footage, spirited music, transformational dance, and performances from three award-winning poets, the late Essex Hemphill, Honoré Fanon Jeffers, and Samia A. Bashir take viewers on a journey from enslavement of African people in the United States through the early 2000s. No, the rape documentary was ahead of its time, ahead of its time. Its February 2006 world premiere at the Pan-African Film Festival in Los Angeles, California took place 18 months before Title IX was successfully applied to campus sexual assault cases and 11 years before the critical global recognition of the long-term work of the Me Too movement. Alice Walker, the Pulitzer Prize and National Book Award-winning author says of no, and I quote, if the black community in the Americas and the world would save itself, it must complete the work this film, No, begins. Since its release in 2006, No has been continuously screened and distributed to racially and ethnically diverse audiences at film festivals, colleges, universities, high schools, correctional facilities, rape crisis centers, battered women's shelters and conferences throughout the United States, across Canada, and in several countries in Europe, Africa, Asia, the Pacific Islands, South America, and the Caribbean. I was elated when my trailblazing sisters, Fasaha Trailer and Dr. Alanair Baker Rogers, the visionary co-authors of the book, they carried us the social impact 
of Philadelphia's Black women leaders expressed an interest in hosting a virtual screening of No and the conversation with my mother, Dr. Gwendolyn Zahar Simmons, who was featured in No and me, moderated by award-winning journalist, Linda Wright Moore for Women's History Month. My mother, Linda and I each have the honor of being featured in this groundbreaking 400 plus page book featuring a foreword by the legendary poet laureate and human rights activist, Sonia Sanchez. If you don't have a copy of this book already, I encourage you to run, not walk, to get your copy today. I must also share with profound and infinite gratitude that Sister Sonia Sanchez, along with Sisters Inel Cox Bagwell and Pat Clark, were the first major individual donors to know in the mid 1990s. They said enthusiastically, yes to know. Please register to join us on Wednesday, March 31st at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a live virtual conversation titled Generations of Struggle, a mother-daughter conversation about sexual violence. All registered participants will receive free access to a link to view No from Friday, March 26th, 2021 through Friday, April 2nd, 2021. We invite you to view the film before the conversation. Please submit any questions you may have for me as the filmmaker, for my mother as one of the featured interviewees in the film, for any of the topics raised in the film. You can submit your questions via email and that address is contact at theycarriedus.org. Again, contact at theycarriedus.org. Please send your questions no later than Tuesday, March 30th, 2021 at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We hope to see you virtually on March 31st, which is Wednesday at 7 p.m. Standard Time. May we all work to co-create a world without any form of violence. Hope to see you soon. Peace and blessings.